Krillin made a particular decision in the Cell Saga, and it was to not push the red button and actually destroy it, saving Android 18, thus having a long, happy life together in harmony. But what if Krillin actually pushed that red button? How would the actual outcome of the Cell Saga look? We're going to be taking a look at that in Sparking Zero and playing out our own things right now. Leave a like in the video, subscribe if you're new, if you guys want some more Spock and Zero content. If you saw that GT trailer yesterday, man, oh man, it was sick. It was sick. But by the time you guys are watching this, we're kicking up on the regular schedule. Got What If videos dropping every single day. So I got this one, I got this idea because I think this is like a popular idea because this is one of the things that I actually, as a kid, I just, I was screaming at the television. Why didn't you press the red button? At the time, didn't know what the bigger plan was. But in this, I wanted to explore what would happen if you actually press the red button. So what is the red button for those who don't know? The red button is from a device that Bulma had created to stop the androids. It was only to be used at a certain amount of uh, or certain feet away from the android and it would then stop the android or, or kind of shut it down so that it could defeat it easier. Um, with that being said, Krillin's job was to get in proximity to the android and take it out because if Cell got a hold of the android, he would turn into a fucking perfect form. As you guys know in the show, that ends up happening. But in this, what what would really happen if he just pressed the button anyway? Well, two things. He would have to go through Vegeta. I'm sorry. <laughs> Vegeta would probably be very upset that he did that. Um, and in that instance, you would have a fight between Trillin, Trunks, and Vegeta. I think Cell would obviously try to get away at this point, but no, we're going to save him for last. But you would have a fight between Krillin, Trunks, and Vegeta. And I want to make it so that, you know, Vegeta is by himself and you have Krillin and Trunks. Trunks ends up showing his true power and defeats Vegeta. Then we go off to find Cell and Cell is way less powerful now so now krillin and trunks are kind of taking this thing on by themselves and as they're taking this on by themselves out of get to actually see just like trunks in the middle full of nowhere. power but what this trunks full power krillin is, be. is doing all he can to help all obviously but he's not going to be like fighting too too much but he shows his true power and they actually end up taking out cell and he then goes back to do the same thing in his timeline so in essence Everything kind of just stops. There's no need for anybody to train. There's no need for anything else to happen. They defeat Cell. And Gohan doesn't go Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> that is the worst outcome ever, right? But no, hey, this is what if. So anything happens. And it's cool to see a timeline where everything kind of gets to a peaceful moment quicker. So yeah, we wouldn't get Super Saiyan 2. And we wouldn't get all the stuff that happens after. But we would definitely see Trunks go to his full, full extent of his power, even using his his big uh, form. Because that's the form I'm going to use. So, yeah, we'll see how it works. If you guys like this What If story, if you guys thought it was a little boring, let me know. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new. We can get on you know, some more What If Spark Zero content. Peace. So, as I'm editing this, there's, there's, there's leaks, guys. There's leaks everywhere, so you want to beware. Stay off Twitter and mute all words, Sparking Zero, stuff like that, because they have leaked the entire roster of the trailer out there for everybody. Um, and I don't think this is an intentional leak, uh, but still, it's one of those things that if you want to avoid it, go ahead and avoid it. I muted all words and all that good stuff, so I will not be seeing anything until that trailer drops, but apparently the full roster is out. If you do want to go see it, go ahead and find it. It's everywhere. People have definitely posted it. But if you have not seen it, please, please, please stay off the internet. It is everywhere. The roster is everywhere. The roster is fully leaked. Thank you guys for watching the video. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.